have for you guys a little try on haul with particularly the company Boohoo. So I've been hearing like about so I've been hearing about Boohoo like throughout YouTube. Like I've been seeing people like buy stuff from Boohoo and either doing a try on hauls or including it in their summer lookbooks. So I decided to buy some stuff. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Boohoo is a UK brand. So this, I have two bags. Let me sh let me show both. I have ooh, ooh, wait. I have two bags here, and one of them. This one ripped because the mailman, I guess, tried to like grab it because I see like little stringy part. You probably didn't see the handles or couldn't grab them. So Boohoo is a brand of clothing that is located in the UK. I ordered these online. I believe they do have some stores in person in the UK. So I just want to say that like delivery wise, um, the earliest estimated delivery date, it's not going to show up if you live in the USA. For me, they said that it was going to show up on July 12th and that the latest that it would come would be the 25th and today it came today through DHL e-commerce and today is the 19th so it came about six days early and I ordered on July 6th and today is the 19th so it took about 13 days for the order to like get through and get here so that's about two weeks and so when I ordered from Boohoo I ordered during their 60% off sale on the USA side they always have like big sales like the one that I see the majority of time is that everything is 50% off but because I saw that they had 60% off and that's you know a little more than 50% off I like jumped the gun especially because there was only like um, 45 minutes left in the sale and it was like really late at night when I ordered it if I'm gonna be completely honest it was like some late night shopping so yeah, we're going to go into the try on haul and see if everything fits, if everything's true to size because I got, I'm a size 6 in pants and I got everything in a size 6 or um, whatever size was the most recommended one for me. So yeah, we're going to put on the clothes and see how they are. Alright, so first things first, I opened the bag that had the hole in it. And I completely forgot that I ordered shoes. This is a shoe bag, guys. <laughs> Can you believe this? That is so bad. Uh, my little sister's here, so that's like her in the background, but we're just gonna open it. And it comes like a regular shoe box. These are the shoes. They're they're still they're pretty cute. But we're gonna see if like that they actually fit. So the first thing I tried on is the Miria Melange Button Front Relaxed Joggers. I got this in a US size six and I got it in the color camel. I'm gonna be honest, it looks really different online than it does in person. In person it looks like a warmer brown. Um, a little bit darker and online it looks like a more neutral brown and lighter um, it only cost me 960 because I caught it on the 60% off sale so I love the joggers they fit perfect as you can see very nice and I love them honestly and I'm gonna you know keep them and then the next thing that I tried on was the Amarta ribbed sleeveless bodycon dress it only cost me four dollars which I thought was such a steal for a dress I got it in a size 6 US and I got it in the color gray now I'm gonna be completely honest it was very hard to find a um, a type of bra because I tried the nipple pasties from like Victoria's Secret like the flower ones but you can clearly see them through the material because I believe the material kinda like showed like a, a little bit of everything which I didn't really like um so I would be careful with the underwears you wear and the um bra I wore one of those like pasty like chicken cutlet bras and um that was the best option for me 
Then the next item was the Mora Cap Sleeved Ribbed Bodycon Dress. I got that for $5.60. Again, a steal. I got it in the US size 6 and I got it in the color khaki, which is a nice green color. Um, the dress was a little bit longer on me than I expected, but then again, models, at least the models on this website are tall. So, you know, it was kind of a given that that was going to happen. And I really liked the dress. It wasn't as showy with the nipple pasties as the other one was. But you can still kind of like see it a little bit. But, you know, there is nothing wrong, as bad as like, it's not as bad as the other dress was. But I really liked that one. So the next item is the Lois Thong Leather Sandal. I paid $11.20. And I got it in the U.S. size 6 because I am always in a size 6. And I got it in the color tan. I'm going to be honest. I, those shoes, they are so cute. But the thong strap was way too long for my foot. Um, if you can see it, I tried to like pull it up for you a little bit to see that there is a gap between my foot and the thong. And um, I didn't like it. I feel like my foot is probably like a little too slim that way for me to actually work with the shoe so I think that's going to be one of the items that I return because um, it just what it's just not going to work and I look ridiculous in it. The next item is the Nina Embroider Crop and Skirt Co-Ed Set and I paid $24 for this set. I got it in the color black and I got it in the size medium. This was that item that was absolutely perfect. That was the item that was absolutely perfect. It was actually my favorite, favorite, favorite thing from this haul. Um, as you can see, like the top fit perfect. It has a gold zipper back and then the skirt is um, a black zipper so you can't really see it. But honestly, it looks great on, great for a date night or a night out with your family or, you know, whatever event that you're going to go to. But it looks amazing. Then I got the Petite Brooke Denim Dungarees. I got the Petite because I'm about 5'2", 5 5'3", 5 and, you know, the sticker that they had on the side when you're shopping on the website made it seem like, oh, it's like perfect for you. It's not. I only paid 20 80 and I got it in a size 6, and I got it in the color black, but let me tell you, it's not going to look the same way as it does on the model. I believe I don't think that model is petite. I think she's probably tall, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, it was tight on my thighs and my butt and my hips, especially my hips. Like, it was like I couldn't squat, you know, and usually in jeans, I can at least, like, it's, it doesn't feel like that. But this, like, it felt tight, and I did not like the way how tight it felt. Um, the next item I got was the Ellie Embroidered Denim Shirt Dress, and I paid $20 for it. Um, I got it in a U.S. size medium, and I got it in the color blue, um, mid-blue, so it's like a mid-wash. At first, when I put it on, I was a little bit, like, confused because the way it fit was kind of awkward. But then again, I just unbuttoned the first button, and I kind of threw it on. But, like, when you unbutton it and you put it on and you button it like that it looks good and then the string which I completely forgot about the string if I'm going to be completely honest when I was trying it on but the string actually does make it look better it gives you a little bit of definition in the area that it's in um it's not exactly at my waist but it still looked really good on me but um the last button at the bottom was kind of like a little tight so if you have like thicker thighs just know that that it's going to be tight then the next two items that I got were like the same thing but different colors and it was the Megan Cropped Overhead Hoodie. The first one is in a camel and the second one is in a khaki and they're both in a size medium. The camel, um, it looks true to color unlike the sweatpants. So I thought maybe the sweatpants, could I could kind of get away with wearing it with this cropped hoodie but I can't because they look really different. Um, because this one actually looks like the picture, and it looks amazing. Um, I don't know what size the model's wearing, because it looks more fitted on her, but me, like, the sides, it is oversized. Um, but it looks amazing, to be honest. Both of them do. Both colors look great on me, and I'm definitely keeping both of them. They were another, f those both were another favorite. The next item is the Francis Rib Off-the-Shoulder Long-Sleeve Body, and, oh wait, 
Did I say what, what, how much I paid for the hoodie? Um, the Megan cropped overhead hoodie was $8, and I did get in a size medium. The next item was the Francis Rib off the shoulder long sleeve, and it was a bodysuit that I only paid $8 for. I got this one because um, Arnell Armand, Alyssa Ashley's sister, she did a boohoo haul and she ordered this one. Um, she got it in the same size as me, which is a size 6, and we both got it in the color um, Sky, which is a blue. On the model on the website, she's not wearing like anything on her um, breast, so you can clearly see like her nipples, like that it's sheer. So when I got it, I was like, oh, I'll just wear like the nipple pasties or like um, a bra and it'll be fine. It's not fine. You can still um, see the nipple pasties, but they're not as bad as if you didn't, like, they're better than not wearing the nipple pasties. Um, also, I would like to say that the arms are a little tight. Um, the way I would suggest putting this on is that you pull it up your body and then use the closure, like, which is a plastic closure um, that I'll show you when, like, I have better lighting. And... Um, then putting on the sleeves because the sleeves are tight um, and I don't have like the thickest arms out there so just letting you know if you have thicker arms um, this is probably not going to be the one for you or you're going to want to size up even though when it comes to bodysuits I feel like we all usually get the size that is our pant size you're going to want to size up because of the arms. Then the last item is the Jenny long sleeve v-neck bodysuit. You will have seen this when I was trying on the dungarees. Um, it's just a simple white um, bodysuit. If you're going to wear the nipple pasties, they're, they're going to be visible. So you're going to want to wear um, a regular like nude bra or um, maybe the demi style or a strapless um, nude bra. And I got it in the color white. I paid $6.40 for it. And I got it, again, in the size 6. And I I really love this bodysuit. It fit really well. It felt really nice. The material was good. It's just a little bit sheer. Um, the total for my um, haul, the subtotal, was $125.60. And then I paid um, the lowest um, amount for shipping, which was $6. So overall, I paid $131.60. Um... What I like about Boohoo is that they have 50% off, like, practically, like, every day on the U.S. site. Um, but sometimes they'll have the 60% off. So, for me, personally, I'm going to jump on that 60% off more often than the 50% off. Unless, like, I'm really in the mood for new clothes and I got rid of a lot. I'm more often going to be doing the 60% off, which happens less likely. I would say overall the um, quality of the clothes was really good. Um, I do, I would recommend this to anyone who's looking into Boohoo. I think it's a really good website. Um, the only thing that I would be a little bit more aware of is the fact that when you're looking for items, they're not going to always be in the category you would think they're listed under. Like these sandals, they were not under sandals, they were under flats. So just be aware of that. Um, but I would give it a go ahead. I think it's a really good site. I think the clothes are really good um, overall. I would just be wary from now on of the shoes. Even though I only got one pair, I would continue to be wary. And um, what was the thing I didn't like? Oh, the denim. I would also be aware of the denim because I don't think the sizing is all that accurate. So again, sorry about the lighting. I know it's a little, you know, too dark, um, but this is the best that I can do on a day like this, and I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible. So in the dungarees, I returned the um, ribbed gray dress and uh, the sandals for sure, the thong sandals I returned, and then the blue bodysuit that the sleeves were too tight time I order I'm just gonna get the size 8 instead of the size 6 and then for the dungarees I'm also going to size up like I still want them those are the only two items that like I'm gonna order again in a bigger size and I already sent it to the post office to return so that's why 
I'm showing you guys the clips rather than um, showing you the that they're back in the back that they're back in the bags that they came in. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. I'm gonna see you in another video because I'm uploading twice this week. I'm getting this one up um, today, the day that I'm filming this part of the video where I'm telling you what I returned, which is the 24th of July. And then I'm uploading another video on Thursday about alpha accessories, the bracelets from there. And yeah, because I feel like I've been lacking, so I'm going to try to upload twice a week to make up for it. Um, and I'm going to see if I can keep up with that schedule Mondays and Thursdays. But I'm not going to, you know, say for sure that I can do that if I can't deliver. But I'm just going to try. I'm going to make an effort. So yeah, have a great, um, have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.